We've all seen what's been happening in Lebanon, the ongoing destruction and now the invasion of Israel into southern Lebanon has begun today. Uh, but what's more interesting and also very concerning is the uh, posts that have been shared across uh, social media about a website in Israel promoting the settlement of southern Lebanon. But I wanted to actually show you the website because when you see the images that they're promoting, you can understand the true intent of Israel. If anyone believes that Israel's intent is just to eliminate Hezbollah and allow the, the Lebanese government to resume control and implement a sovereign government in the nation, which we all want. We want a sovereign nation that eliminates all the oligarchs that are in power. Hezbollah is not the only force that has led Lebanon to this crisis and allowed Hezbollah to continue to carry arms within Lebanon since 1992, when um, it should have handed over all of its uh, military capability, as, ha as did all other militias in Lebanon. My point is that Hezbollah, the elimination of Hezbollah or attempted elimination of Hezbollah, the continued invasion and, and um, atrocities now being committed in Lebanon, across Lebanon by Israel, is no different to their policy and their agenda in Gaza and the West Bank. It's to eliminate ethnically cleanse and uh, cause a genocide in Gaza um, in order for them to take over the entire land of the Palestinians. Whilst they might not be able to, to implement such vast uh, and ambitious uh, policies across the entirety of Lebanon, their intent is to at least occupy now the south and move slowly, encroach slowly into more territories. Let me just show you what I'm talking about because when you see it, it is very shocking. Here on my screen now you will see the website that people are talking about um, and to see this land, this image is Lebanon. These are the beautiful valleys and rich, fertile territory of Lebanon. And this website here is already promoting the movement for settlement in southern Lebanon in the name of Israel Sokol. What this means is they created this website in the name of this guy. He's a soldier, a former Israeli soldier who was killed, 24-year-old, who was killed um, in the battles this year fighting in Gaza, in fact. But what he wanted and dreamed of was, as they state here, Israel, this guy, dreamed of a Jewish settlement in Lebanon and saw it as an integral part of the land of Israel. He fell during the operation in Gaza with his vision for the future of the north still burning in his heart. And these people have taken up his mission and his vision. And their vision is to conquer and settle southern Lebanon. Today, it is clear to everyone that Israeli control of southern Lebanon is necessary for Israel's security. Rubbish. We call for Jewish settlement in this area, which is an integral part of the historical land of Israel, and so on and so forth. Look at these um, images. That is extremely concerning because now the promised land extends according to them and has been published in another Jerusalem Post article that was published on the 25th of September, which has now been taken offline. But it stated that the Torah claimed that Lebanon is part of the promised land of Israel. These are the images that they're promoting for you to have a land for a property in um, in Lebanon, and they're promoting them at around um, 80,000 US dollars or 300,000 shekels. They're using the biblical cedar tree as part of their symbol in the Star of David. If you want to go onto this site, you can find it yourself. It's called uritsafon.com. U-R-I-T-S-A-F-O-N.com. I'll put the link in the caption. And I wanted to also refer to a post by the Middle East Eye who have done an investigation into this even further. And they have um, stated this is all started by an Israeli settler group promoting new properties for sale in southern Lebanon. Uri Zafon for the Movement for Settlement in Southern Lebanon. Extremist settler group, Middle East I says, emerged in March as a fringe movement to push for the settlement of Southern Lebanon, which it said would be bring true and stable security to Northern Israel and enable the country to reclaim its biblical borders. The group initially started with a few hundred members, but now they're up to 3,000 members. The movement's founder, Professor Amos Azaria, 
told Middle East Eye that having a proper border based on the Latani River or the Zahrani River will only will not only allow proper control over the border, but will in fact shorten the border as it becomes more of a straight line. A couple of points to make on this. Firstly, do you really believe that moving the southern border of the northern border of Israel to the Latani River is going to protect Israel any more than it is now? The other side of the Latani River is no different to the current border where if radical elements want to um, engage in a battle with Israel can just set up on the other side of the Latani River. So that logic is illogical and unqualified. The other point is that what they're trying to impress upon us is the fact that this is part of the plan for a greater Israel. It doesn't end with Lebanon and it will continue into Syria, Iraq and, board, and, and parts of Saudi Arabia. One very important point that I want to raise right now too is the Latani River. The Latani River is a source of fresh water. Israel is devoid of fresh water. And back decades ago when I first started investigating and, and becoming an expert on the Middle East, the policies back then and the analysis and research by experts at the time said the third world war will be about fresh water because fresh water is becoming very rare. Lebanon, because of its natural beauty, its mountains, its rivers, and its snow-capped mountains, which deliver fresh water to waterfalls and the rivers across the nation, is a source of fresh water. And Israel, whilst it was in engaged and occupying Lebanon for 20 years, from 1982 to 2000, used to drain the Latani River and use that source to, to feed its people and to um, provide water to its people. It wants the Latani River, and it's been given the opportunity now with the green light it was given by America and all of those other Western nations, including Australia, France, uh, Britain, Germany, Canada, and other nations, to go in and destroy Gaza, first step, then come into Lebanon. This is a much bigger problem for not only Lebanon, but the world. This, as I mentioned before, unwieldy beast, the Zionist beast that has taken charge in the world, not just in Israel and the Middle East, it's taken over the governments, our Western governments, it's blockading and paralyzing the United Nations is a force that we have to all stand up and defy. This is a time for all people who believe in human rights, who believe in international law, who believe in the rights and the power of the International Criminal Court of Justice must realize that this is about our humanity. This is not about the Palestinian cause or the Lebanese cause or Hezbollah, or Hamas, or the Houthis. This is about right and wrong. It's black and white. And every person who's sitting in their lounge chairs watching this or watching the chaos and the turmoil and the crisis unfold needs to stop, needs to get up, needs to write to their local representative, needs to write to their federal representative, needs to write and speak out and call their members of parliament, their elected officials, and say, we will not accept this. There are laws, there are rules governing humanity and civilization. If you're not going to stand up for this now, that means you're inviting chaos and trauma and, and devastation to your communities, to your local communities. That's what's at stake if they can get away with this at this level and other nations around the world and rogue leaders are watching what Israel can get away with right now. And if they get away with this, that means chaos is going to rule the world. I'm not a fear mongerer. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a realist. I'm a pragmatic thinker. I've always rooted myself in the facts. And these are the facts we must all stand up and defend right now. Thank <laughs> you.